three years into our homeschooling journey, I was ready to literally throw in the towel on homeschooling. I started looking into private school options and was about to fill out registration forms because I just couldn't take it anymore. And then, by God's providence, something amazing happened that changed everything. The first few years of our homeschool journey were crazy. <laughs> if you have boys, you know how loud and how crazy that can be. I was super excited though and jumped in with both feet. I had my schoolroom set up with workstations and posters and like all the things, right? <laughs> I had curriculum for every subject so my kids wouldn't fall behind and we went for it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. The kids were eager to learn, but then reality set in. It was a major challenge to get anything done. I hated workbooks, and I disliked teaching from a curriculum that had an overwhelming amount of checklists and things that had to be done in order to feel like we were doing it right. Stress started mounting and a fear of failure took root. We sometimes pushed through tears of frustration all for the goal of checking off that box. Learning lost its joy and wonder. It was no longer fun for any of us. Can anyone relate to this? Drop me a comment below and let me know if this is you now or if it has been you in the past because honestly, I think we've probably all been in this place before, am I right? <laughs> At this point, I had another baby amongst other major life changes, and it was kind of the perfect storm of everything coming to a head, and I was done. Or was I? All of these outside influences, like other homeschool friends, social media, books, podcasts, homeschool conferences, all of these things kind of came together at the same time that helped me realize it doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> I don't have to recreate school at home. I don't have to use curriculum that we don't enjoy. I don't have to do every subject every day. I don't have to be slave to that checklist. My kids, they don't have to be pigeonholed to only learn what the schools are teaching at their particular grade level. What? <laughs> All of these ideas were kind of mind-blowing, to be honest. This concept is so simple, yet it's so freeing. It made all the difference. So in a nutshell, that one thing that changed for me was a major mindset shift when it came to how I viewed homeschooling. This does. Whoa! I began to see that there's a better way a way that doesn't involve tears and frustration and overwhelming stress over the myth that our children are going to fall behind if we don't do things in the prescribed way. Instead, there is a way that allows them to develop on their own pace, a way that allows them the freedom to explore what they're passionate about. brings life and fills us with joy and wonder and creativity? Who wouldn't want that? Over the next several months, I started to relax our approach to curriculum and schoolwork and focus on relationships over textbooks. Not that we totally ignore things like math and language arts. Those are core subjects that we still work on regularly too. The magic of homeschooling happens when we create an atmosphere where our children are free to dive deep into the things that they're truly interested in. When we give them this freedom, it is amazing how much they actually choose to pursue on their own. And then the amount of information that they soak up, almost like they don't even realize that they're doing school. Hey chickies, hello. I don't want you to think for a moment that I have got this all nailed down perfectly. It 
is still a struggle for me to keep this mindset sometimes. I scroll through Instagram or hear all of these amazing things that other homeschoolers are doing out there and the doubt can start to creep in. I start to feel like I'm not measuring up and I should be doing more. But when that happens, I just pray and I trust that the Lord has me on the path that he wants for our family. And I know that everything's gonna be okay. Every year, as we settle more into what works for us, it gets a little easier to not be worried about our kids falling behind. They are learning and growing so much with each passing year, and it is truly a beautiful thing to be part of. So I encourage you, if you find yourself in a place like I was, step away <laughs> from the multitude of curriculum checklists. Stop trying to recreate school at home. Shift your mindset to trust that your children are gonna be more than okay and allow them some freedom to explore their own God-given interests and abilities. It may not be easy, it may be messy, but it will change everything.